Good morning all! Good morning. So it feels like winter has come to an abrupt end and summer is here! Nice and warm. This video was recorded last week so don't be fooled. Hopefully it will be the last of the wind and rain that we show you on our videos. We made a start on restoring our pond with the help of our visitors and you can see the weather did start to pick up towards the end of the week. And now it's nice and warm. Now it's beautiful. Enjoy the video! Enjoy! Hello from inside the pond. We are just about to start some pond action! Hello Sam! <laughs> so we've finally got some helpers to help us out with the pond. Will, do you want to explain what we're going to do? We're going to get our pipe lower. This bad boy. <laughs> so the plug hole's here. We want to fix the pipe in. Just the pipe in, snap it in, and fill any holes around the wall. Yep. And a big hole at the other side that needs filled. Which we shall show you now. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to get a little bit of a convoy system going on. So I'll bring the camera over and show you the big hole that we need to fill. So over this way. Boppity bop bop. If I can get over without falling around this way. <laughs> Easier said than done holding the camera. Whoop. Okay, so here we have a big hole where the concrete's all cracked. here and here. So what we want to do is fill this up. We're going to use rubble which is way up behind the house so Billy you're shoveling the rubble. Yeah. Julie she's wheelbarrowing it down the hill. Um, Kathy and I shall start filling it. And Will, you're working out how to lower that pipe. Yeah. Great. Let's get started. <laughs> you can see the marmelo tree coming to life. So Will and I had kind of given up on the pond, on clearing it out, but we have cleared about half of the half of it. So where the water is that previously was all about half a metre of sediment and soil and mud at the bottom so we have cleared a good bit of it but our priority now is just getting it working because we need a water source to be able to water the garden beds which are just in the field over here.
We can keep them in the pond. Find a beautiful little newt. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. Tiny wee feet. He's really cute. Be young. Does he turn into a frog? No, it's a newt. <laughs> turn into a frog. It's not a tadpole. You're wondering why are you working so hard and we're just standing here. Got little Norman. Just trying to get rid of some of these big reeds. They're really hard to get out though, aren't they? <laughs> have a good bit of this wall filled in and then it'll just be a matter of concrete in over the top. See how Will's getting on. How are you doing? Good. Got the pipe in lower. Where is it? Oh gosh you've got it in yeah. a lot lower. That's brilliant. It's gonna stay there on top of that rock to stop it sinking in and the any of the loose. Stones. Happy days. And we'll know exactly where it is if it gets clogged. We're just filling all the holes around it. Great. We'll give it a clean and then it'll be ready to concrete once it's dry. spot a little doggy. I mean she's got a lovely cozy bed in the house and the fire is lit but no she just likes to be close to us. We've got some great work going on down by the garden beds. Some digging and decorating looking good so far. I am back up at the pond and I'm gonna continue on 
patching in the holes so ready to start concreting over the cracks make it a bit more waterproof and hopefully it'll hold a lot more water and um, great job to get the big holes filled up the other day and it's a nice warm day some sun so it'll dry nice and quick hopefully We've got some garden beds getting decorated down here. The designs have been well thought out by our guests, haven't they? Yeah. What's the plan, Julie? This one's going to be a floral base with maybe some insects as well. Ooh. How exciting. And this is a pond-like thing. The blue one? Oh, very exciting. Kathy, what about the first one? <laughs> Looking good anyway, better than just silver. down in the pond filling up pretty well got about half done hope it will hold another batch mixed up ready to do this big hole up here just noticed a few little frogs hopping about around me nice wee green ones Nice wee frog.
So from this end the whole way up, we've managed to find the wall. Not that much more to go, but still a fair bit of digging. Got the best day, eh? Slowly getting this garden bed filled up. Like this. Love it. And then we'll get some started our composting a few months ago. We've had enough compost to top off all the garden beds so far. It's really great. So here we go. We have four finished garden beds. Number one, they've got mega multicolour crazy print, courtesy of Kathy. <laughs> Number two, we have a pretty floral design. From Julie, and Julie has also done, with the help of Billy, Pond Life, number three, featuring some little fishies, some reeds, and a little turtle. And then I didn't want to miss out on the fun art attack. So I've did a tiger print bed at the bottom. So, oh, we just need some things to start growing, really. 
it's been a little bit of a competition today. We can't decide the winner between us, so let us know in the comments what your favourite garden bed is. And I'm sure we'll come up with a prize for the, the winner. Another day on our homestead. A bit cloudier today, but still nice and warm, which is good. Got our guests hard at work again, clearing one of the entrances to our land. Already, it's opening it all up, whereas you were squeezing in past. Just getting rid of all the broom. And spikies. Hello. Good work. Hard work. <laughs> so we've got it all being cut down. I love it all being burnt. Keep it on top of the fire. Nice and warm by the fire, isn't it? Clearing up the driveway is going great. Looking great. Looking very good. And some luncheon has just arrived. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Quite the operation going on down here. Quite the operation indeed. Making a big difference. Yeah. You drive up here in no time? Yeah. Back down at the other entrance to our land and just keeping an eye on the fires because they're almost out, but just keep them, make sure that they're not spreading or anything. And I'll just give you a wee look at how it's looking. We've sort of cleared up to this green oak tree where you were dodging the leaves. <laughs> and it's looking so much better. You can actually see this big wall now. It looks so cool. A lot more like a road, which is what we wanted. This will be the second entrance to our land. We will build some nice gates here eventually. 
once we get a bit more done to our house you can see the nice big stones sort of come to an end here then there's a bit of a chain and a fence and just past it that's where the stones start again this will be a road down to the start of our forest but as you can see it's not cleared yet and just down there is a wee hill that joins on to another road that'll be another day but this part's looking fantastic great getting some help to clear it it's definitely made it a lot quicker We just have to these concrete bits of the ground here to go and then it all opens up again. Now you can see our house. It's not too much more to clear. Feels like we've got loads done. There's a worker coming down to chop a bit more down. Feely down to help. <laughs> Big pockets, you got everything in your pockets. Oh, the batteries? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big bunks just landed on your shoulder. It's oh. away. It's about time my put a shift in. <laughs> <laughs> just a little update on our bird's nest. That's in our basement. It's just tucked up here in the corner, on top of our cushions. You can see the little eggs. So sweet. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Thank you. And remember to let us know in the comments which garden bed is your favourite. And do hit subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next week where we will be putting the plug back into our pond and filling her up. Fill her up.